Hi, this is Christy Burcham, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a free motion filler called Bricks. And this free motion filler is a, a really great, unusual filler for some place that you need heavy quilting. Or it's also great to use if you're doing a landscape quilt or a project where you actually do want to mimic the look of a brick wall. So let me show you how we're going to create this technique. First of all, we're going to use the Mettler Silk Finish 60 Weight. And the reason we're using the Silk Finish 60 Weight, this is 100% cotton thread, and the 60 Weight is a bit lighter. Normally, I free motion quilt with 50 Weight uh, because I really want that quilting to show up. Um, but with this particular pattern, we have a lot of stitching over ourselves, a lot of uh, places where the stitching is going to overlap, and we don't want that to get too heavy. So by using the 60 weight, we can fill in and overlap those areas over and over without worrying about the quilt getting too heavy or the stitching getting too thick. Um, I like to use the large cone, particularly with this technique, because we are putting a lot of stitches in this quilting and we'll be using a lot of thread. So the green cone is the one you're looking for when you're looking for the silk finish 60 weight. So let's look at the technique. The first thing I'll do is go ahead and pull up the bobbin thread. And we'll take a few stitches in place to get us started. And then we'll clip those tails out of our way. Okay, to get started with this, we're going to start with our first brick. So we'll actually come along and do a nice rectangle shape. And then trace along the bottom of that rectangle and create the bottom of the next rectangle. And down the center. And then again along the bottom of that rectangle. Out to the next rectangle and back down between them. You do want to try to work a row if you want to try to keep it looking like bricks. You want to work a row at a time. And once you've got a row in place, we're going to come back up along the second row and start to stack. And what we want to do is we want those bricks to alternate so that the seams between them alternate. When I do the second row, I usually come across the top. And the size of your bricks is just going to vary based on the look you want to get. You do large ones or small ones. And you can just keep going until you're happy with your size of your wall. Now what you're going to find with this brick technique is that you'll have an uneven edge. As you can see here, we've got this open area. So what you want to do is fill in most of your brick area, the area that you want to quilt. And then when you're done, you'll come in and square up the edges by filling in these empty spaces and putting your half bricks in place. To fill in the empty spaces. But I like to do all the rows first and then come back in and square up the edges. So that's how we create the brick technique. As you can see, you have lots of overlap. And one thing that's great about this technique is if you're not perfectly happy with your bricks or you want to kind of smooth them out or change them as you go along, you can always come back in and keep adding um, the more stitches in between these bricks. And that's just going to look like more uh, mortar in between them um, and give you just a little bit of a different look, but it allows you to kind of clean up some of your uh, mistakes if you have any just by continuing to fill it in. 
Thanks for watching this free motion filler video. You can find more free motion filler videos and other techniques at our blog, which is amongroupmettler.blogspot.com, or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Thanks for watching.